history is selective. What history books tells us about the past is not everything that happened, but what historians have selected. They cannot put in everything. Choices have to be made. Choices must similarly be made about which aspects of the past should be formally taught to the next generation in the shape of a school history lessons. Nell says that, in order to seek protection from their fairy foes, birds actually prefer to build their nests in plots of swamp with a resident alligator. In fact, in one study, a graduate student planted fake alligators. The birds seem to prefer to build nests close to them. There, there is a water source, there are alligators, so it's sort of this mode of protection around these colonies. Over time, Split would have appeared in wolf populations, he says, those wolves that feared humans and those that didn't. So this would have facilitated, I think, the domestication process, at which point humans deliberately took wolves as pets. But that domestication process, France says, may have happened more than once, first in the West, in Europe, and again in the Far East, in Asia.
a ubiquitous neurotransmitter that carries signals between brain cells, dopamine, among its many functions, is involved in multiple aspects of cognitive processing. The chemical messenger has been extensively studied from the perspective of external cues or deterministic signals. Previous research has offered circumstantial evidence that Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, contains more water than all of Earth's oceans put together. However, temperatures there are so cold that the water on the surface is frozen solid. Also, Ganymede's ocean is thought to be 100 miles below the moon's crust. This means that the water vapor discovered by Hubble is not likely to represent the evaporation of this ocean. In 1861, Matthew Brady, a well-known portrait photographer, approached President Lincoln requesting permission to move freely around the country photographing the Civil War. Lincoln granted him permission to travel anywhere with the Union armies, and his record of this conflict brought home to millions the horrors of war.
As introverts are thinking, they reach back into long-term memory to locate information. An introvert will often compare old and new experiences when making a decision, which slows the processing down but leads to carefully thought-out decisions. This means that introverts have an active dialogue with themselves and usually walk around with many thoughts in their minds. A study found that the research funded by the soft drinks industry had different results from research funded by other sources and went on to suggest that they may have been biased by the research itself. The whole point of the scientific methods is to ensure the research results are not influenced by the source of funding. The transition from the brick and mortar structure to click and order model started with the emergence of information technology and its use in the financial sector. The use of technology in banking has resulted in availability of multiple delivery channels like ATMs, telebanking, internet banking, and mobile banking.
Aboriginal people are believed to have arrived as early as 60,000 years ago, and evidence of Aboriginal art in Australia dates back at least 30,000 years. Several states and territories had their origins as penal colonies, with the first British convex arriving at Sydney Cove in 1788. The sad truth is that happy sounds are infectious. Now comes research that at least partly explains why. It was published this week in the Journal of Neuroscience. A British research team played various sounds including laughter to people who are having their brains scanned by a functional MRI machine. All the sounds activated the premotor cortical region of the brain, an area preparing facial muscles to move. The scientists say this is the first documented instance of nectar that attracts a particular animal assistant being produced outside of a nectary. In fact, the observed nectar bleeding might actually be an early system that evolved to include the nectaries found in other plants today.
We understand the importance of supporting and restoring biodiversity, and we are teaming up with the world's leading molecular biologists, technologists, conservation biologists, conservation organizations, ethicists and thought leaders to call for intended consequences to help us safely use all of the available tools that can provide the advantage we need to turn the tide on species loss. Nell and his colleagues took to the Everglades at night, hunting for gators near and far from nests. You have to use a spotlight and you see the little demon eyes shining out of the marsh. They lassoed the gators, pulled them into the airboat, and took blood samples and body measurements. English colonies emerged along the eastern seaboard for a variety of reasons. People, primarily men, originally migrated to Virginia to find gold and silver to make a quick profit. After it became evident that there were no precious metals in the area, men came to Virginia to start men came to Virginia to start cultivating cash crops like tobacco.